Hey there, welcome back to Easy Arts for Everyone. I'm Louisa Higgins, and I'm so delighted to be returning to you with a new adventure in art making. Um, this time it's called Vichinanki Paper Cutting. And this is a really neat technique that I was introduced to recently. And it's Polish in its origins, and it's been around for about 100 plus years um, as a manner of art making and decorations. Uh, for home or celebration. And there's some interesting integration possibilities because we're working with sym symmetry in our design, symmetrical design. Uh, the fun of it is working with two colors of paper. So you can have contrasting or complementary colors at work. And you'll have to pay attention to knowing where your fold is, and you'll see when I demonstrate. And also, we're only going to use dots of glue, so we won't get too carried away with glue. So this is just as simple as it can be but it really yields beautiful results. So I'm gonna show you on a big piece of paper, if we pretend this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper, and I would fold it down the center, right? And then I would go ahead and make my drawing. And I did a pre-drawing in pencil, but I'm gonna go over it with marker so you can see better. So what this type of paper cutting is famous for is they really used a lot of elements that were floral in nature. And they also like to incorporate animals. So you can see I'm doing some stems. And here's where the fold is. So this is all stuff in the, in the part of the paper that I'm going to cut away, right? So I have now I have a leaf. I'm going to put another branch out here with a flower and a leaf. So I'm kind of, you know, you can freestyle this. This isn't something where you have a super precise pattern, but you're really after, is it whimsical, is it fun? Does it incorporate flora and fauna? They did a lot of chickens and birds in their artwork, because maybe that's what they had on the farm. So I'm going along, and I can go out as far as I want on the paper, to the edge of the paper, because that's my cut edge, that's not where the folded edge is. Right? And I'm going to insert a little bit there. I'm going to keep going. And so I'm going all the way from the very top of the paper to the very bottom of the paper with this. Right? Here we go. And one more stem. So I'm creating a lot of interest visually. There's a lot going on in this design. But it's all just simply flowers and leaves and stems. And here at the bottom, we're going to finish it off with a pot shape. So if that was on a piece of paper I was going to go ahead and make art with, then I would, oops, I would take it off. And I would, I would have it folded in half, and then I would start the cutting. So I'm going to show you actually on a smaller piece of paper that's a little bit more colorful and a simpler project if you're working with younger children. So I have some colored pieces of paper here, and I took a green piece of paper and I folded it in half, right? So I said, no, your fold. So here's my fold. And then I drew with pen a simple tree shape, right? So I'm doing the tree, kind of like a pine tree, and then a little hill. And then I drew in some shapes right here that I'm gonna cut. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the basic cut. And you can move it around. If your scissors are sharper, that's better. But really, any scissor works. So I'm being careful that I'm not getting into this the fold side. I'm working other parts of it. And I can work sections as it's easier, right? So that I'm not getting frustrated with manipulating the paper and the scissors. So you can see here, I'm kind of working from the outside in to get the cut that I want. And we want to make smooth cuts. We don't want it to be jagged or raggedy, right? So I'm almost there on the branches. And this is just so simple, right? Maybe you know how to make snowflakes. You've done paper cutting before. I didn't have a lot of experience with it, so this was kind of new to me. All right, so I have the basic shape cut out, and then I've got a few little um, shapes that I've put along the fold, and those are going to look really interesting when I open them up. So I'm just kind of trying to do a little triangle shape, 
And it's fun to retain the scraps that come off of here because those can also be used in your final presentation. This one I was trying to go for a little bit of a heart shape. Let's see if I can manipulate the paper to cut that properly. Okay, and then I have one more that's kind of working its way out to the branch. Let's see if I can get, grab that. Here we go. And what could be easier than just working with paper and scissors and your imagination, right? And to make something so beautiful, elegant, inexpensive, and simple. So when I open this up, that's the fun of it. When you open it up and you see, oh, how did this look when I'm done? There's a lot of trial and error that can happen, as you can imagine. So now I have this symmetrical design of a tree. The other thing that's a fun tool to use is hole punching. So if I fold this back again, I can do hole punch. Oop, that doesn't want to let go. There we go. I can do a hole punch as I go down the branches. This is a new hole punch, so it's a little sticky. But I'm going to put a hole on each of the branches. And that one I got a little close to the edge. But you can see that adds even a really nice element to the design. And then when I said something about colorful paper and color contrast, you can see if I put this onto an orange piece of paper, that really pops. And a little pro tip about the glue is you just use little dots of it and you just put little dots throughout the design and then you put it down on the paper and smooth it. That way you don't have glue slopping over onto the paper and perhaps discoloring it. So here's some examples. Here's the tree um, done in blue and white. So you can see how that's really crisp and simple and definitely appropriate for younger children. Here's one like the one I was demoing here on the white paper where um, I used just kind of a plain newsprint. But I had the bird and the leaves and the flowers and so on. So you, and then the jar. So you can see how that really looks nice. And on this one, using red and white, I just kind of freestyled it and tried different patterns. So I was trying to use like organic flowy shapes, branches. I did kind of a zigzag here. And I thought that turned out really interesting. So I encourage you to put the music on, have fun, be relaxed, see what you can do with both shape and color. And I encourage you to subscribe to our channel because as time allows, I'm going to add new content wherever I can. Thanks for tuning in.